About six months ago, I don't think I could even run five minutes straight. I also hated running, like absolutely despised it, all of it, I hated it. This year has been the hardest year of my life and my therapist suggested that I take up running. She said it helped her in her grief and maybe it would help me too. I was clearly at a low, so I decided to give it a shot and now I am a runner. Who would have thought, definitely not me. I love running now. I mean, most of the time. I love the release. I love being outside. I love the time it gives me. I love what it does for my emotions. I really just love it. I would like to thank Coach Bennett from the Nike Run Club and most of all, Tabby Franco. She has run with me every single week and even woken up extra early for the 6 a.m. runs that I know she wants absolutely no part of. If not for them, I probably would have gotten out of bed this year a lot less Honestly, definitely. I don't know if I would have gotten out of bed. Running has been the most beneficial outlet for me this year while in deep grief. And naturally, I have made it my entire personality. And I also want everyone else to love running too. I never thought I would be a runner. I never thought I could. So here is how I got into running after hating it my entire life, fell in love with it, and how you can as well. Oh, and I ran a 10K. Who would have thought? I promise, as Coach Bennett says, everyone is a runner. All right, too many dogs happening in one space. Hi, y'all. We're going to talk about running in today's video. I have my cute little house guest mug in my recording room. If you guys don't know I have a podcast, we actually are doing a bunch of episodes on running too. So go subscribe to that YouTube channel. I have a bunch of like running influencers on, like Brett's Bites is coming back on, Kate Glavin's coming on very soon. Hi y'all, me from the future, we're gonna do a little giveaway. This giveaway is for YouTube subscribers of this channel and the House Guest Podcast YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribed to both of the channels. I'm going to be giving a $150 gift card to like a fleet feet of your choice brooks or hoka or nordstrom wherever you want to buy like a pair of running shoes it'll be up to you about 150 dollars value subscribe to this channel the housecast youtube channel and then comment below where you found my channel the giveaway will last for a week best of luck to everyone my dream guest is coach bennett like i need that to happen anyways um i wanted to film a video on how i got into running as someone who absolutely absolutely hated running before i had tried in the past i had gone through some phases you guys might have been there for them um in covid i think i went through two phases with my cousin and we did catch to 5k and i don't think i ever even actually no i know that i never even fully completed those i would get into it and then i just didn't like it it was boring and honestly it was because i didn't have coach bennett i'm not kidding i decided this year to take up running and i really wanted to feel like what other people felt from running and i felt like i really needed it so I decided, very, very long story short, I decided to start running. I downloaded the Nike Run Club app because I was recommended that by a couple friends of mine who had gotten into running previously. And that, starting at that, was the number one thing that changed running for me. Coach Bennett, I'm not kidding, he made me fall in love with running. I also think the actual plan from the Nike Run Club, the first one that I did, by the way, was a 5K. I think the plan itself is better with couch to 5k there was like too many short increments all the time and I just found it to be boring I don't know but with Nike Run Club I really enjoyed my actual run itself and it pushed me a little bit harder than couch to 5k and not only was I entertained but I actually realized that I could do this I think a lot of the issue with running is like the first couple of runs are awful and you just feel like there's no way I'm going to get from not even being able to run two minutes to running 20 to the running 40 and then 60 and like I was there I, I literally was like dying at two minutes like this is impossible and I just ran like I think the longest I've run is like an hour or 10 minutes like you can do it not stress enough how much I hated running I don't feel like I'm naturally a good runner and I also have never been able to run in the past and I grew up playing sports in Texas sports in Texas are like very serious and you have to run all the time as a form of punishment so it didn't make me enjoy it but now as an adult I really like running because it makes me feel like I'm like playing a sport again in the best way possible. Like, there's always something that you're getting better at. There's something that you're working towards. It just like, once you're in the world of running, it's really fun. I never thought I would say that. Like, on record, there's so many podcasts and things where I talk about how I literally have no interest in running and I never want to run. And I'm someone who really likes working out, but running was just not what I wanted. So number one, like I said, you need to get a good running plan. 
I am not sponsored literally at all. I have no idea that I exist with the Nike Run Club. I would start with the 5K plan with Coach Bennett. Coach Bennett is just such a light in this world and seriously has helped me so much this year and I love that man. I hate when it's like someone on there that isn't Coach Bennett um, and I still, like I don't even need the running plans right this second. I'm not training for something in this moment but I still do guided runs with him because I just love those runs. I think it's helpful to run with friends too. As I got better I felt more comfortable to run with friends so I started running with Tabby all the time and that was really fun because you have that added accountability and then we would get so excited when it was I mean my long runs. Tabby clearly I mean she like just got up and ran a half marathon at like an insane pace on four hours of sleep as you guys will see in this vlog it's actually crazy. Tabby is a runner runner. I mean we're all runners. Coach Bennett if you're watching this. But running with friends and also just making it more of a social thing has been really fun. Macy's gotten back into running and so it's kind of something that we like all three do and we talk about all the time. We send our Strava stuff, we talk about it, we sign up for races together now. Like we have gotten really into it and it's really fun. Um, on our long race days, it was really nice at the beginning to always do those with Tabby and we would get so excited. We would get like the pre-run jitters the night before because we like couldn't wait. And there's no better feeling than when you have completed a long run that you like never thought you could do. Like when I did my five mile run on my 27th birthday, it's in that vlog, I was so proud of myself and the whole day I just kept saying like, I cannot believe I ran five miles because I've never been able to do that before. And it's such a good like confidence boost and you're just so amazed that you're able to do these things. And so that feeling I feel like really like keeps you going. You're gonna have a lot of days where you don't feel good and it's like not the best run ever. I have where your body feels tired or slow or sluggish. It happens all the time. Number two, this is a huge one for me. You need to find somewhere that you really like to run, okay? My neighborhood, lots of hills, okay? And you wouldn't think that, but there are, okay? And I have a boundary when it comes to running, and that is that I don't run in hilly areas. I like flat areas. I started running near water every morning, and I love that. One, just being around the water, it feels so, like, beautiful and amazing. Um, it's such a great way to start my day, and obviously it's prettier, the weather's a little bit better, but most of all, it's flat. I would just find somewhere that you like to run every day, and if you have to drive there, do it. I don't know, I think that had I maybe committed to running near water, I'm just a running near water sort of girl. I think that's what it is. I would have enjoyed it more. I have run like different neighborhoods and stuff through Texas. I just know that I like to run near water. Number three, you need a good running playlist. This is the most underrated running hack there is. I have a running playlist that is all like female icons. We have Miranda Lambert, Carrie Underwood, Tate McRae, Britney Spears, I think Gracie Abrams is on there, Taylor Swift obviously, JoJo, like we have all these icons, okay? And I listen to them and I just pretend that I'm on tour with them. I pretend that I'm on stage with them so I can't stop running because then people would see me and that would be embarrassing. And then also I will literally be like, oh my God, Taylor's not even through like lover yet or you're evermore like keep going you know because then I'm like if Taylor can do it so can I there's something about that that like genuinely really helps years ago I was doing 12 through 30 and I would always play like Britney Spears Hawaii like 2004 concert and I just love that music and it really like amped me up and I was like like I felt like I was like a part of the show okay even though I was doing 12 through 30 it's like a weird hack but it actually does work number four you need good shoes I had hokas originally I love my hokas I just had them for like a year or two prior so I was running with those they kind of hurt and then I got running socks and that actually like solved my problem for quite some time and then finally I got to the point where I ran my hokas into the ground and I needed new shoes because my body started to hurt and I could just tell it was the shoes so then I got a new pair I went and got my feet scanned that's how you know I'm in business and I went to Fleet Feet in Dallas off Mockingbird I got my feet scanned and then I ended up getting Brooks. I have a link on my shop. I have an entire category of running and everything that I talk about is going to be there. Um, but running shoes are huge. With that, you really need chafe cream. At least I really needed chafe cream. I put it on my legs. It's unbelievable. Body glide, like that's all you need. I did end up buying a Garmin watch. This is not something that you need to have. It's not a must have. It's not, it's not at all. It's just if you are someone who is getting really into running and you want to continue on and you're interested in a Garmin watch, I do really like mine, I'll link it below, they are pricey. I use mine for heart rate, mainly tracking, steps, pace, um, but it's definitely not a must have, must have, like unless it's something that you really want. I really do like mine a lot, um, but I wouldn't like buy that off the gate, like by any means. Another thing, roll out. Hello, 
I don't know why it took me so long to do this. I started to like feel weird and sluggish and so I started rolling out and turns out that actually solved literally all my problems. So I roll out before, I need to start rolling out after, I need to be more consistent about it now that I'm running like longer runs. But rolling out, who would have thought? Literally everyone tells you that. The last thing I would say is sign up for a run and just make it fun. Like, make this a social fun thing that you like to do, or maybe it's your me time. I do both. Like, I like running alone. I like running with my friends. I like how it's become such a big part of our social lives. If you would have told me that I ran 6.2 miles this year, like, in January, I would have literally never believed you, and it has been so therapeutic. If you are going through anything in life, like, something even as small, like, a, a breakup or, like, confidence issues or you're confused or whatever it might be like honestly really really give running a chance and commit to it like your first couple of weeks are gonna suck and you're thinking there's no way that I'm gonna be able to run longer than a mile longer than half a mile longer than a quarter of a mile longer than a mile and a half like you will think those things and then you'll be able to do that ultimately I promise you that you can do it you just cannot give up right away I never would have thought that I'd be able to do it I don't have crazy times I'm not like a speed demon I'm not running like seven minute miles by any means at all i'm running like 10 30 to like 11 30 i'm not the, like a super fast runner but i really enjoy it and i'm very proud of myself and i understand that 10k to other people is probably like not that big of a deal but to me it is a big deal and i'm celebrating it and that's how i feel like you should feel on every single run even if it's like you ran two minutes or you ran five minutes or ten minutes like if you weren't doing that before, that's a really big deal, like genuinely. Because of that, running's also awesome for your confidence, as we know. Ed Milet, I say this in my podcast all the time, Ed Milet says, confidence is built by making promises to yourself and keeping them. So as you continue on your running journey and you're constantly showing yourself that you can do things or you're at least showing up for yourself, you are in turn building confidence because confidence is built off trust. You are then growing in your trust with yourself because you're showing up for yourself. Oh, also, I don't know how it took me so long to talk about Strava. Strava's amazing. I mean, we have this whole bit about how, like, you do Strava for attention, which is partially true for sure. Um, but I love Strava. What I love about Strava the most is that it always says that I ran longer than the Nike Run Club, and I bet the Nike Run Club is just more accurate, and that's why Strava says I ran longer, but I do appreciate that from them for sure. Um, Strava is another really fun way to like share your runs. If you guys don't know, Strava is like a run sharing app. You share your exercises online, you track yourself, you do all the things. And Strava is really fun because you get into it with other people outside of like even your immediate circle. I love following people on Strava. Um, you guys can follow me if you want. I love it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so proud of myself and running has just been such an amazing thing in my life and I've really, really, really loved it. Will we do a half marathon? Honestly, if this video gets to 500 comments, Macy and I will sign up for a half marathon. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the 10k vlog. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Our house guest mugs, by the way, are available on our workshop as well as so many of our other things. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will actually see you in literally the next clip. It's 5 a.m. Good morning, y'all. It is the morning of the 10k which may not be a big deal to y'all, but it is a big deal to me. It's like 5.20, it's taking me way longer to do my hair than I thought. I really need to roll out. I'm not awake right now, and neither is my body. Um, Macy and Tabby are coming over. We're gonna have some sourdough, some pre-workout, and then we're heading off to the race. This is the only way to run with long hair out of the way so it doesn't get tangled. I'm wearing these set active shorts in this sports bra. I have no idea where it's from actually. I might wear this game's hug just depending on how I'm feeling. I wish I like woke up in a better, like more excited running mood. I did not feel good yesterday at all. So I'm putting on my energy stuff. So I spent like all day trying to like get better and I feel better than I did for sure, but I didn't like prep myself to get excited. You know what I mean? I'm sure I'll get there. I actually technically have never run a 10K. I've only run six miles. So this will be my longest run ever. I feel good about it. I can do it. Amazing. It's gonna be 75. I'm so lucky. Which Brooks, I actually, this makes me feel like a real running mom. Like a hot running mom, you know? A lot of layers on right now. It's unnecessary, but just for the car ride. I'm wearing the jacket. I'm gonna bring this just in case I need to throw some keys and stuff in there. This is my overall fit. 
set active bottoms, this Brooks. A little, I'm not going to run in this. Um, my sports bra, I don't know. My top is actually skims. They're really soft. Like I forget the actual material. They're good to run in. I wear them as like my normal t-shirts do. The bro one of these is going to go, but for now I'm cold. And then I have this. And then my eye sock headphones. These are the best running headphones. Making some coffee. I'm definitely waking up now. The girls are almost over. I'm making them their breakfast, which is freshly baked sourdough. Homemade from the kitchen. I'm also gonna have some pre-workout to go if I feel like I need to drink it right before. I really will drink coffee and pre-workout if I feel it's needed that day. It's a bit much, sure. This is my favorite pre-workout. I love Kylie. I do, like so much. Actually, she's just an angel. But also, this is the best pre-workout. It tastes so good. I just do like a little half scoop. I won't even do a full, especially because I'm drinking coffee, but it tastes like a snow cone, like a rainbow snow cone actually. Go figure, but it's really good. Just scoop this up, a little spoon, and we're good. I just put my coffee everywhere. <laughs> Hello. I'm glad Thank we're God all I'm running with you. I, the fact that you just said that to me is crazy. Now I'm concerned for your house. <laughs> now I'm actually like, I've been in the room. Guys, um, really no one forgot, feels prepared. I literally like forgot to run this week. <laughs> You didn't run at all this week? No, I did like twice, but like it was hard. I was gonna do a shakeout yesterday, but I did it. <laughs> the text that she said. She so, what time did you go to bed? Midnight. Tabby, you are insane. I woke up at four. Tabby, I, was, I I'm had sick this for nightmare you. that I woke up and it was 7 20. Guys, I'm. And you guys slept in too. So. I'm not kidding. I. Had a drink. I woke up like on the hour every hour this last night. Thank you. I woke up on the hour every hour last night because I thought I had like sourdough things to do. I kept like, <laughs> thinking like, oh, I need to like like stretch and fold. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm like so serious. And then this morning, finally, you know when you finally come to and you're like, wait, I didn't have any sourdough things to do. Mm -hmm. Like I still believed it when I woke up that I had sourdough things. So that's good. Anyways, this is our pre-workout snack. Life hack or running hack, find a friend who makes sourdough. No, this is it, we keep everything. I, mean, I just want to remind you, this is my first loaf. Oh my I've God. never seen someone with a first loaf like this. No. No one's had a first loaf like mine. This is really And hot. I just want to say, like, by us keep saying, like, oh, your first loaf, it's almost, like, undermining how good it is. I agree. Like, you know, like, it's so good, and, like, I'm just still so shocked that it's your first loaf, but it doesn't take away, it's like, it's like saying, like, oh, you're good for a girl. Like, it's not, like, good for a first loaf, it's good, period. We're off. Okay. Relight is literally the best because it's good. It's like pure salt. My dad follows this doctor on Instagram and Relight is like this shit. He said this. I like, follow him too. And Dr. James. James. <laughs> My dad sends me every single one of Dr. James' post. He's, He's like, like, wake up, eat protein, no. get sunlight. Like, you yeah. know? What's stopping you from you and your dream life is this is not your grocery list. <laughs> it's like so the stuff your dad sends you on Instagram. Everyone packed things for Macy. Here, I packed these. Are Chomps are her favorite. Everyone's favorite. And then I got these. Have you tried the They're so good. Yeah, They're I think so good. No, I haven't. Oh, you have tried them? Yes. Okay, good. So My mom got them. I like them and I'm bringing them for after because you said you get tired after your runs. <laughs> thank you. And like, that's because you have to have protein right, right after. after. Okay, thank you. Or like you get I actually tired never do that. that. You have to do that. I was going to do protein shakes, but it's yeah. going to be warm. Yeah. So, so bizarre. You need these. I know. These are like a hundred bucks. Too, oh for really? Reasons. Yeah. I, for some reason, they're like three hundred. No, 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 no. They're like one twenty, one thirty, and they like sit over your ear. They're so good. Anyways, we're off for our first ten k. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. First song of the morning. We've arrived, Charleston. <laughs> Every city's different. Half marathon is so far that we're gonna start in Dallas, go to Charleston, the Golden Gate Bridge. Just getting some shots of the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hot. We're ready to go. It's lit. I wish they had a marathon here so that, like. Macy, you look so pretty. So you can Thank do the you. Wow. So I could be like, there's people are having a marathon, you can do a 10K. <laughs> well, people, so, people so, are doing a half. When I ran the Cowtown, I signed up for the marathon and only did the half. So when I finished, people were really impressed. <laughs> Thank you to Coach Bennett, but mainly Tabby, for making me a runner. This is gonna be incredible. This is a really big day for you because you make both of us runners. <laughs> Thank you for the peer pressure. Of course, yeah. Macy. <laughs> really took the bit too far. <laughs> Jump the gate. <laughs> <laughs>
Go Tabby, go! I would hate to be her right now. <laughs> Off we go. Only the best One month and you did it. <laughs> okay, the way she's walking now, but she looks great when she finished. The camera's on me. Woo! Go, Tabby! <laughs> Guys, we just had a little photo shoot. Um, I'm just so proud of us. Macy, nope, Tabby ran a half. She just is being a photographer. She's getting so many pictures right now. No, she's actually a content queen right now. I would not be here, but we're not for the content. Like telling people. Yeah, obviously. It's drama. If you're seeing this, go comment congrats on my latest Instagram. Yes, post. same, same, please. <laughs> oh, how was that, guys? No, oh, it was actually really fun. I need Because I'm like crying because <laughs> we're wearing our shirts and our medals to breakfast and everyone is going to think that we were the half marathon. Have you seen it? Because why would you wear this? <laughs> A 10k, like normal, you know? Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, we did it. <laughs>